So hello people, this is Moose Car Vlog and today I have a special car with me. This is the SL43 AMG and why is it special? Because they put a four cylinder in an AMG SL. So let's start off with talking about the front. So this front here looks really, really beautiful. It has the Panamericana grille. The SL now is an AMG only. There is not a normal model of the SL, but on the SL43, as you can see here, there is fake vents. On the SL63, this is opened and real. And on the SL43, this is fake. So we have the beautiful AMG headlights here. Saying AMG in them, this is a really nice detail. I really, really like this. We have the aggressive hood of the 63 AMG with the power domes looking really, really good. We actually have beautiful rims. I really like them with that ring in them. I really like the look of these rims. And this car has 381 horsepower and 480 newton meters from a 2.0 four cylinder turbo. Let me know your opinion about this because this car starts from around 127,000 euros for a four cylinder engine. As you can probably tell, AMG didn't make it as much on the engine about this car because it's a four cylinder. If you want a really good engine, you buy the SL63, you get a V8. This is more for the people who like to cruise, who don't need the 500, 600 horsepower from a 63. Who just want to have a nice cruiser, a cabriolet, a soft top. And this is the car for them. Honestly, it looks really nice. It has that lifestyle effect to it, if you say so. But yeah, if you don't really care about the power, this car is actually quite a nice packaging for you. Especially with that beautiful interior, the softness of the car, it's really soft. It's really nice to drive and but we will see that when we jump inside and take it for a drive now let's continue the exterior review we have fake vents here as well on the normal sl they are also fake but there's like a v8 badge here thank god they saved the turbo electrified i don't know what the hell badge here thank god they saved it and they didn't put it here because like this it looks clean and classy so under the bonnet we have the frustration of many people nowadays with AMG. Under the bonnet, if I pop up this hood, there's a 2.0, oh it opens up automatically, there's a 2.0 four cylinder engine. At least it's a one man one engine, but this is a 2.0 four cylinder turbo engine in an SL. Look at it. Do you think this engine is right for this car? I guess we have the V8, we have the SL63 and it's a nice option to have, or would you just don't even consider putting this in an SL. Let me know in the comments. We have the beautiful door handles. We know they pop out and we can lock it like this and we can open it by pressing on them and they come out, really nice feature. This is the roof of the SL63. It's a soft top, it's not a hard top, which is also nice, depends on preference, of course. These are the back wheels, 295 wide tires, which is actually pretty, pretty good. On the M5 competition, for example, there are only 285 at the back. So I think these back tires have something to do with the nice ride quality in this car because it rides way better than it should be for a four cylinder cabriolet. So people going onto the back of this car, the back of this car reminds me of something which after I tell you, you will also probably see it. This spoiler and this back looks like on the SLS cabriolet. Can you see it? Like the spoiler and stuff, how it's inside and it looks like on the SLS, which I really like with, because the SLS is an AMG only supercar and this looks really similar to it. We have these beautiful backlights here, which have the dynamic lights, as you can see, can you see it? Yeah, they have the dynamic blinkers, the dynamic indicators, which is really nice. We have a quad pipe exhaust here, two pipes on each side saying AMG on them, as you can see. Probably, yeah, they're, they're saying AMG on them. Really nice detail. And the back overall of the SL is a huge selling point, especially in this. Just look at it. It looks so, so nice from the back. So nice from the front. It's such a beautiful looking car. I really like the looks of it. You can't dislike it, honestly. Like, if you just like this looks, uh, what do you like? I mean, just look at the looks. It looks really nice, really subtle. Really, really nice diffuser here. I don't know if it has a purpose or a function. But look, we have a diffuser here. And yeah, this is the back of the SL43 AMG. So I will now pop up the spoiler for you so you can see how it looks with the spoiler up. Then I will show you how the roof opens from the outside. And then I will show you the inside and take it for a drive. Let's go. So people, this is the SL43 AMG with its spoiler up in the most aggressive setting. We have two settings for the wings, actually three. One is completely down, one is like a middle setting. And this is the most aggressive setting of the spoiler.
So people, now before we jump into the inside, I will show you how the roof opens with the key, unlock button, hold it down, and then it will start doing the mechanism and open up the beautiful roof for us of this actually super good looking cruiser, the SL43 AMG. Now it's stuck. Why aren't you working? Now it's working. Just look at it. It actually looks really good with the spoiler up and the roof down. Wow. So let's now jump inside, talk you through the inside and then take it for a drive to see what this thing is up to. So people, this is the interior of the beautiful SL43 AMG, AMG door cell. This beautiful door here, fully covered in leather. These are our buttons to move the seat. We have heated seats, ventilated seats, even for the neck, air for the neck and the Burmester surround sound system, which is really good sounding in this car. So this is the steering wheel, the new AMG steering wheel. I really like it. This is the only thing I don't like about it, especially in a car like an SL, the horn here should be covered in leather to make it more luxurious like the rest of the interior. This is our screen. This is touch and we can tilt the screen with this button here. If we have like sun in our face, then we can tilt the screen like this. So, and this is the whole of the interior. Everything is leather. The Burmester here, AMG there on the bottom. We have some storage compartment here, some storage compartment here, and we have two back seats, which are completely useless. I could only fit my jacket back there. It's completely useless. With this side of the steering wheel, we control the screen here, as you can see. And with this side here, we control this screen in front of us, as you can see here. So this is the SL43 AMG. So let's now take it for a drive and see how it performs. So people, before we start driving, let's open up the roof and then get a sound check of this car to see how it sounds while starting it up, obviously. And then let's take it out for a drive. These are the seats of the SL43 AMG, AMG here in aluminium, beautiful leather seat, really nice, really comfortable to sit in. So let's now get the sound check. So people, we are blessed to have the sun out. Let's go and take this out for a drive. So the first thing you notice in this, I don't know why it is like that. The first and second gear are always clunky. Even if you are in the comfort, even if the car is warm, first to second is clunky. Maybe it is in this car only, but this is a thing I've been noticing. So the neck heater is actually doing a great job. I can feel the heat in my neck, really nice. Yeah, with these buttons we can change what it's displayed here and we can change them by this black button here with this black toggle. We can change the ESP, the exhaust, the suspension, everything is changeable through here. So driving at the first meters. It is really comfortable. It doesn't feel that sporty. The seating position is actually sporty, but the car itself doesn't feel like a sports or supercar. It doesn't feel like a supercar. It feels like a sports car, which it is, which is also nice. I don't want a really hard suspension in the SL, and I think you don't want it to. So the first meters are nice. I don't know about the sound though, especially for that price. Let's put into Sport Plus. Maybe it will make some sound. The fake pops are coming in from the C43, this boop boop, boop boop. So let's now take a left here. Yeah, so let's now give it full throttle and see how it is. It's a good pull. Uh, the pops and bangs are going crazy a little bit. The bop, bop, bop. It's a good, nice pull. This car, so I will make a statement here. This car is not for the people who would buy an M4 for the same price. Obviously, you would get so much more performance in that M4 for the same money. This is 127,000 base. I think the M4 full is that price. This car is much rather for the people who don't really care about the performance. Let's say a 50, 60 year old guy. 
who don't really cares about the performance. He wants something a little bit sporty. He wants the roof opened, of course, like here. He wants that cabriolet feeling, that lifestyle car, but he doesn't really care about sound and performance. And most likely he doesn't even know as much about sound and performance. And for this, for these kind of people, this car is actually quite a nice car because I'm having all of that here. I'm having luxury, I'm having a neck heater, I'm having the roof opened. I have a little bit of performance. I have a super nice suspension. It's really nice to drive this car, to cruise around with it. And for these kind of people, it's absolutely perfect. For, for the sporty minded guy, this car is sporty, don't get me wrong. It's a 100, 200 of 12 seconds. Well, that's like a Toyota Supra. But for that kind of money, you would expect more performance. So let's now try to do a launch control. I don't even know if it has one, but let's feel all the 381 horsepower. So, yeah, it has one. Nice pull. Oh, and it slipped. But did you hear that fake engaging noise? Nah, nah, da, 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 da. Let's do one again here. So people, foot on the brake, foot on the gas. <laughs> Let's go. Really nice pull. This, yeah, this car is fun to drive. This car is fun to launch. Fake launches. Yeah, these are so fake. Because I'm having the roof opened, I can clearly tell these are so fake. And the roof is opened, I hear nothing from the back. It's all from here. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, but the launch sound is fake as well. So the launch sound is fake as well, but it is really fun to engage that. No, 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 no. It gives you quite some feeling, especially if you don't know that it's fake. It will make you have a lot of fun. Yeah, this boop, boop, boop. This car doesn't really quite sound like a four-cylinder. Yes, a little bit, but it's, it has a different tune to it. It doesn't have that uh, Volkswagen AG four-cylinder sound to it. It sounds unique. I like that. I'm going to do another launch control here and listen to it. <laughs> it's sliding. Oh, it's got a lot of power. It, it's it's nice to drive. Don't get me wrong. It's it's. I really like this car, honestly. It's just the price they're asking. But this isn't the price they're asking for, like a C63 convertible. This is the SL. This is the luxury, uh, the luxury cabriolet, the cruiser, the lifestyle mobile. And it's still got some power. So it's actually a nice package because you've got some power. And this car is for people who don't really want the power. You know what I mean? They just want some power. They don't really care about zero to 60 times and stuff like that. This is the backup camera, the 360 view I love from Mercedes. It's really nice, really good to operate, really easy. Look, also one at the front. Perfectly fine. Look, you saw that shift, but now we are in Sport Plus, so it's okay. Um, let's see, let's turn off the stability to see how this car performs without a stability control in the launch. It's now completely off. Foot on the brake, foot on the gas. It still kicked in. I also had that on the um, GT63 SE performance, it's still kicking in. I don't know why, I don't like that it still kicks in. What a nice pull. Let's change the screens in here, oh we got no fuel left. Let's change the screens in here to classic, because most of the people will ride around in this. It's got a nice pull. The 
pops and banks are all fake. Nothing in here is real, sadly. But it still sounds good on the inside. So people, I'm gonna make a resume. This car is really nice to drive. I really like how this car drives and behaves, how comfortable it is, how you can have some little fun with it, how it is actually really sporty. It's got some tacking launch control sound and stuff. It's got this beautiful screen here, which we can tilt. It's got a lot of functions. We have a roof opened. I really like that. And this car is for the people, like I said, who don't really care as much as perf about performance. They just want a beautiful, nice, sporty cruiser and this is perfect for them and they should definitely get it. It's kicked in. Ah, it's really nice. This is our fuel consumption, driving like an idiot with launch controls, 18.9 liters. We can go to the vehicle here, we can see a lot of data. I really like this, the G-Force here, as you can see, 0.4 right now how much we are pressing on the gas, the throttle, how much we are pressing on the brake. It's a really nice car and it's so, it's got a lot of uh, functionality, it's got a lot of features. I really like this car. You have to decide for yourself if the money is worth it to you. With that people, I'm gonna end this video. I will do an Autobahn video of this SL43. Make sure to check it out. And if you like supercars, if you like AMGs, you are at the right place here. I will do a lot of Lamborghinis coming up, a lot of supercars, maybe even a hypercar in the next weeks. If you like the kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.